the adjustable wrench. I'm introduce adjustable wrenches to you today. They're also known as Crescent wrenches. And that was the first company that made them and gave them a nickname, Crescent. And you'll see it if you have an actual Crescent wrench, it'll be written on it, Crescent wrench. I don't think that we have any of them here. So there's lots of companies that make them now. So you, as you can see, they come in a whole host of sizes. This is a little bitty uh, six inch model that I carry around every day to use plumbing work and a whole host of other models. They make these things up to about two or three feet long and they can get pretty heavy. Almost every one of them is gonna have a loop at one end. Serves two purposes. Sometimes you can hang it up in a tool room so you can see what it is. It's also designed to attach a lanyard to it and attach it to you to your belt. And it's called, a, we call it a dummy cord in the military because you learn to keep up with your tools, dummy. But anyway, I've got a story for you. One of my students had just graduated. He uh, got him a job with the Coast Guard. They sent him up to the Ohio River. And his first week on a boat, he leans over the, they ask him to fix and tighten something. So he leans over with a pair of pliers, leans over the side of the boat with his pair of pliers, and then bloop, proceeds to drop them in the river, and they're gone. So the next day comes along, he gets a brand new set of pliers. They said, go tighten that nut, uh, bolt again. He leans over to the side with a pair of pliers to tighten what they ask him, and guess what? Bloop, he drops it off in the river again. The third day comes along, and by then, he has a lanyard tied to it. So yeah, the dummy cords come in quite handy, especially if you're working around water, if you're working up at elevation, because invariably you're gonna climb all the way up somewhere and then you're gonna drop something and then you're not going to have it. You don't have to climb all the way back down, it's wasted time. So the adjustable wrench, it's got a handle. It's got a fixed part of the jaw and then it's got a movable or adjustable part. It's got a little gear right here that spins it in and out and you can see the little cogs and the little channel that it rotates through. It's a pretty simple little operation. And these are designed to be used in a certain direction and used a certain way. They grab the heads of bolts or nuts and you, you adjust it till it fits down tight to where your bolt or nut fits right down in the groove. And this one right now, the way I've got it turned, this one's designed to loosen. So that you want the force being applied going in this direction down into the jaw. So that if I want to tighten this one, I have to flip my wrench over and you can see how tightly and snugly it fits down in there to where I can tighten. Couple different types of bolts. Bolts come in a, a whole myriad of sizes from itty bitty up to as big as your leg. Now this one that I have right here, this is a 3 8 bolt by one inch long. And what that means is the diameter across this rounded portion where the threads are is 3 8 of an inch. The threaded portion from here, from below the head of the uh, bolt all the way to the end is one inch. So that's a 3 8 by one inch bolt. But the head, the diameter on it is actually 9 16 You'd have to use a bigger, a bigger tool to turn it. So the actual head is 9 16 but the diameter is 3 8 So for your project, you're gonna take an adjustable wrench. You're gonna take our demonstration model with a small bolt in it. And I wanna see you adjust the wrench in the tightening position to start with till it's kinda, it comes up and touches and you have a little wiggle room. And I wanna see you make three turns Tightening the bolt. Then I want to see you flip it over and make three turns. Loosening the bolt. So this is the adjustable wrench. 